Barris County leaders are searching for a backup plan to cover $186 million in costs for several projects, some of which have already been completed or are scheduled to start soon. Commissioners were now counting on the money, but the request was denied. Queen City News reporter Caroline Boyer listened in on a heated meeting tonight. Several people did not hold back during the meeting, telling commissioners this is embarrassing and they need to stop spending money they don't have. The frustration comes after the state auditor told some commissioners in a meeting last week she was shocked they would bring a plan involving this much money to the state without having any sort of plan B. You have been rolling the dice with my money, your money, your money and every other taxpayer in this county. When you're foolish with other people's money, that's crooked. And crooks don't know how to stop being crooks. Well, I hope you'll learn. It's back to the drawing board for Cabarrus County commissioners and several citizens are not happy about it. Talking about 186 million over there and you're adding 530 million in that uh, future debt. And now you're talking about 270 million. I mean, you're getting on up there. Um, and you done been told it's the wrong way to do it. The commissioner's chairman and county manager met with the local government commission last week, asking for millions of dollars to use for multiple projects, including building a preschool on the Beverly Hills Elementary Campus, among other school improvements and work on a courthouse. State reps told them their financing plan was not going to work, even though commissioners say it's one they've used before. And then we've been doing that successfully and then all of a sudden it changes now because that we were is warned, a big question there we've been warned for a couple of years not to continue this in tuesday night's meeting commissioners discuss going back to the state to ask for more money without having a plan to get rid of existing debt it's our fiduciary responsibility to make the best financial decisions for the taxpayer for the citizens for the people of this county and I can't imagine why we are even considering this when we were just not approved for the other two last week. Commissioners are planning to meet virtually with the local government commission on Wednesday to figure out how to move forward.